favorite things about Instagram is that you can create custom cover photos to keep not only your feed on brand, but also make it super aesthetically pleasing. You can make it so much easier for people to navigate your profile and your page. And cover photos just add a whole other, you know, pizzazz to your social media marketing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can create Reels covers super quickly on Canva. Honestly, it only takes like five to 10 minutes to do, so let's dive right in. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is go over to Canva and I use the free version. Um, the free version works perfectly fine for me. If you wanna use the paid version, that's fine too. You have more options on what you can create, but I just use the free version and I have had no problems with it. So you're gonna go over to create a design and you're gonna either type an Instagram story or you're gonna type an Instagram reel. Either is gonna work for you. It's gonna be the same dimensions that you need to get that um, perfect cover photo, uh, perfect cover photo. But I always do Instagram story because it just takes out the extra step of uh, downloading as a PNG rather than as an MP4 file. So I just go with Instagram story, makes it so much easier. You can also use it later on to put on your Instagram stories if you wanna promote your video. So next thing we're gonna do is this is completely kind of up to you now. This is where you have pretty much full reign of what you're going to do. Um, so I like to make my covers with photos of me. So I normally go on my phone and I take a few photos. I upload them directly through Canva on my phone. So we'll make a quick one with this one here. We're going to set it as the background image. Um, and you can, you can do so much here. Like I normally take this and I also just do autofocus. So the background gets a little bit blurry. Um, that way, when I put text over it, it's a little bit easier to read. So that's basic editing on here. You can totally look more into that if you want. But the key for Instagram real covers is you want to have this dimension right here. So we're going to make a box that is about 860 wide. Eight hundred and sixty-four wide, so it's going to go to the the corners here, and then it is eight hundred and ninety tall, a little bit under than eight hundred ninety. So we'll go like right here. So when you're on Instagram and you're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, it always pops up as that square image, right? Unless you're on Reels, you don't get the full effect of the whole reel cover so you want to be optimizing your reel covers to fit into that i think it's like 1080 by 1080 um feed post so the best way to do this and this is kind of like my little secret hack here is i create this box and we're going to position it for the center which it already is perfect and then what we're going to do is we're just going to take the opacity or the transparency and we're going to bring it down so you can still see the box. I like to make mine white. It's easier to see on here. So this is our box. This is our area of where we can work. Everything that we do now has to fit into this area. So any text that we add, any sort, any sort of images. So this background image right here, like my head is going to be cut off halfway. So this is where we have to do some finagling to make it make it work a little bit more. So this image honestly might not be the best for this sort of cover. I know that I have a few more that are really good for this. Let's see, let me pull up some. Let's try this one as the background. This one would be, yeah, this one would actually be a perfect background image. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add in some text. So we'll do, let's say this reel is gonna be about how to make real covers. Let's just let's just make the, the cover photo for this one. How to make Instagram real covers. So now the creativity is kind of up to you. You can like either make this right here, right dead center in the box area. Um, some of my reels covers that I have, I actually include the box. You can take the box away. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna kind of make it look a little fancy. So we're gonna do outline. We'll make it an outline video. We'll do like a, a white outline. Um, so we can expand the text out too, if we want the text to overlay. And then you can also just delete this box once you're ready. So obviously it wouldn't look that good without the, 
the box there. But yeah, this is kind of the key here, though. This is the key. So you guys can do whatever you want with the text and the image and stuff like that. Make it pretty however you like. But this is the, the biggest thing is you need this these dimensions right here to ensure that everything that you're doing is going to show up on the feed. So once you have your desired image downloaded, we're just going to go over to one that I've already created in the past. So these are a few examples of ones that I've created in the past. This one right here is what I was talking about before where I actually include the box and I just have like the background image there and there's a little bit of transparency and stuff. I have this little filter on here to make it a little darker. Um, another example is, is this one right here. So this is the style that I actually really like using, but if I were to take that box from up here and copy it and paste it, it pretty much fits perfectly. So if you look at Instagram, if you look at this box right here, you can extend out a tiny bit, but this just gives you kind of like the basic guidelines on like you're 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 getting really close to the restricted zone, so you might not wanna you might not wanna put any more text below that, or you might wanna move your head a little bit so it fits in. But once you have your desired image, all you're gonna do is go over to share. Um, if you're on your phone, this is so much easier to do. But you're gonna go to share. You're gonna download it as a PNG, just that one page, and then you're gonna upload it right to Instagram. So this next part of actually uploading the photo is the pretty easy part. So all you're gonna do is go into Instagram and you're gonna upload your reel. You're gonna make sure all the reel edits are there, and then you're gonna go over to the next button. So once the reel is all edited, it should be the page where you can add in your caption, add in any tags, and it also should say edit cover. You want to hit edit cover and then you want to hit add from camera roll. And that's where you're going to upload this brand new photo that you just created. You're going to upload it and then you're going to swipe over to the right and it should say profile grid. This is what I was talking about with the box where these are the dimensions that are going to pop up inside of the profile grid. So you want to, you can move the photo up and down a little bit. You can make it align so that it fits perfectly on your feed, but this is where you want to be adjusting it so that it fits perfectly the way that you want it to show up when people come across your feed normally. Because like I said, they're not gonna see the full cover image unless they scroll over to the reels portion. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Once it's done, all you're gonna do is hit save and make sure you have your caption up there, make sure you have any tags, um, anything else you wanna add, and then you just upload it to Instagram and that is pretty much it. It's a very, very simple process. Like I said before, you can do this on your laptop. If you're gonna do it on your laptop, you can, upload it to Google Drive and then download directly from Google Drive. But I prefer to do it on my phone. I just have the Canva app on my phone, so I just download the image right there and then I can upload it super quick and easy. I hope you found this video very valuable and helpful. Um, I know it was pretty simple, but if you want some more tutorials like this, or if you want some more social media slash content cre creation trainings, make sure to give me a like, make sure to give me a follow, and I will see you in the next video.